because you can imagine again the weather is on and off and this is why I'm back in this building but every time I come here I always tend to have quite a good session I usually come in probably once a month but today I'm using for me one of the best springers ever made not the best one of the best and it's my HW77 this is a 177 it's doing today just under 11 foot pound with a 1034 grain GSB pellet and I've got the Pulsar C50 on top I'm zero spot on at 30 yards and I'm controlling crows, magpies and jackdaws because we have a building here full of bulls and uh, all these birds keep coming in defecating in the feed troughs all over the walls and as you know we also have ground nesting birds and all the ground I shoot and we have sheep and lambs in spring so I can legally shoot these birds so it's a case of uh, just waiting and see what comes in the weather it's windy, it's calm, it's sunny, it's raining it's just a strange day so anyway let's get to it I might have to cover my face yet, I don't know, it depends I've not used this Pulsar score for quite a bit actually but uh, I do have a soft spot for this scope if I'll be honest it's quite a good score my only gripe with it, and I'll be honest I'll say it is it records sound shocking if Pulsar would put a nice microphone in this scope it'd be good, it honestly would but uh, I would record sound, for me anyways I'll leave it there but anyway, like I said, let's get to it it's about 10 minutes later there's a jackdaw on the gate He went down absolutely perfect. In all fairness, headshots are the way forward, you know, when you're using 12 foot pound air rifles. You don't have to shoot headshots, you know, you can sometimes aim around here. I might have to aim around here later on, depends how they land and how they show themselves. But that were absolutely perfect. That. I've been trying to work out which Springer I like best between this and the Pro Sport and I've decided they're equal equal <laughs> because uh, you know both of them are the accuracy I can get out both these air rifles on paper 30 yards it's, it is it's PCP accuracy without a doubt you know I would never have believed this two years ago if someone told me a uh, Springer was accurate as a PCP two years ago. I wouldn't have believed it. But shooting off bags at the gun club, the perch, let's say, you know, just say. So when I use these, you know, like today, I don't feel handicapped or anything anymore. There's a magpie just from under the upper. I aimed there on the centre of the magpie, I don't know why I just did. But anyway, straight down, so no harm done. 
So I'll fish magpie down. There's a crow here walking down the field. Probably 35 yards away. He went down, absolutely lovely. Can't believe it. I didn't press record, <laughs> honestly. Anyway, he's down there. I'm gonna go and get him now, and put him up as decoy. That's the crow there, and Jack Dar decoy. So, See if these work. I've just put that crow up as a decoy and a jackdaw, so hopefully she'll draw a few more in. But we'll see. Yeah, I've said before, decoys, they either work or they don't end off. You know, sometimes they come straight to them, other times they just frighten them off. You know, I've been shooting some days, you've got to take them up because they just keep flying away. But I'll see. If you shoot a farm too much, decoys don't work. But uh, if you just put them up every now and again, they seem to work, I think. looks like now I'm on a big ceasefire because Brutus has turned up with all his girlfriends. So I'm going to have to go and have a word with him and tell him to clear off. <laughs> this is uh, one of the magpies shot under the hopper. But I'll keep this as a decoy because it's nice and clean. Putting out my decoys here. And I've got, I've got a big Brutus. Oh, yeah, big lab. I think I best do as I'm told. Yeah. Oh, yeah big lab. <laughs> well, Brutus and his girlfriends have finally disappeared. For now, anyway, so. I'm back in action. I've just been talking to the farmer. He's been here for probably half an hour, but uh, he's been feeding the bulls, so the province all over under the upper now. So hopefully they're going to fly straight to this upper, to all this loose province. So I keep quiet, and we'll see. There's actually, there's actually four magpies here. I can't believe it. Ooh. I'm glad I didn't miss them. <laughs> there were four of them, and uh, sometimes when you see four targets, it's hard to pick one out, isn't it? Anyway, the one that showed his chest went down, so yeah, another one down, brilliant.
can hear a magpie flying about. Nice one. Ooh. Don't know why that magpie landed over there, but anyway, he's down. Probably same, probably 25, 30 yards. I was just about to back up, but there's a magpie here. It's probably 75 yards away. And I think it's going to come in. It's just thinking about it at the moment. Yeah, he's not seen it. I think he's looking at the decoy. Bonus magpie there. Just when you think it's over, another always comes in. I run seven times then. I miss E50, a bit too much zoom really, but anyway, he's down. Nice clean head shot. That was probably 35 yards actually. So yeah, that's the best shot so far today. All I've done to this uh, HW77, I've put a new top hat and spring guard in it, and uh, it has calmed it down a bit. It has made it nicer to shoot, to be fair. I wouldn't say it's any more accurate, it's still as accurate. It was, it was shooting brilliant straight out of the box, to be fair. But the spring guard and top hat has kind of calmed it down and made it sound nicer, really. And it's a bit nicer to shoot, you know. But yeah, I'll do well at this. 77 now. Another magpie. He went down nice with yeah. another nice clean headshot. There's actually a jackdaw here and it's on a gate stoop that's bent. <laughs> so I've got to move very slow. He went down with another clean headshot, which is, uh, yeah, bang on. I think I'm being bit with fleas. <laughs> I'm just watching Donald and his mates. The six of them just turned up. But don't worry, I don't shoot ducks with an air rifle. It's not been a bad afternoon, really. I've had uh, five magpies, two jackdaws, and a crow. And the old HW77 hasn't let me down. Like I said at the start, you know, this model of air rifle, for me, it's almost one of the best ever made. I do like this air rifle, it's so accurate. I've had no misses today, you know. Not all have been headshots, but most of them have been. So yeah, quite a good do. So I'm gonna go and pick these now. I might keep the old one for a decoy. 
So if I don't see you again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all soon. Come on, Donald. Here I'm just picking up everything I shot this day. And I did end up burying it, to be fair. So again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all soon. And yeah, if you ask me, it looks like my mate Brutus is uh, in for a long night. 